Hey guys, it's Troy in Mayfair on a lovely spring afternoon. Why are tests from a woman that you are interested? Why are they a good thing and how do you pass them? Now I'm going to use the word tests. There is a very vulgar term that gets passed around a lot in the, the dating, the, the pickup industry, which is uh, shit tests. I don't quite know why they had to append a word for feces at the beginning of the... Uh, well, I do know actually why, uh, because the, these tests can be perceived to be somewhat annoying and a bit invasive and the kind of thing that women do that, that uh, just pisses men off. And um, so there's a bit of resentment, I think, behind the term, but that's why that, that term shit test was, was devised. I prefer, to just say t I prefer to just say test because I just think it's a little bit like, uh, it's a little bit vulgar. You know, I'm an English gentleman and um, I don't really like using those kind of vulgarities. So I'm gonna leave it out. But anyway, so why are tests a good thing? And how do you pass them? Well, very simply, so what do we, firstly, what do I mean by these tests? Well, look, say you meet her. So say you're walking down the street here and then there's a cute girl and you think, I'm gonna go up and I'm, say hello. So I'm like, hey, I saw you look really cute. You look nice, I wanted to come over and say hi. My name's Troy. And then she says, oh, do you say that to all the girls? Or, oh, I bet you do this all the time, don't you? It's a test of a sort. And what she's testing for there is, well, to see how you react, okay? But she's giving you the player test. She's giving you the, you are a player, you do this all the time, therefore I am nothing special, therefore why should I get further acquainted with you? Let's, let's put it like that, okay? What she's really doing is she's throwing up, up an objection to your advance to her, okay? She's trying to inject fear of loss into the equation because what she's, what she's kind of under, uh, uh, subtly hinting at is, look, you probably do this all the time, therefore you're just trying it on with me. I don't feel special as a result of that, therefore why should I have anything further to do with you? Therefore I'm gonna not give you my phone number or not go on a date with you, okay? So that's what she's really doing. She's trying to instill fear of loss, of her, okay? That kind of test will only come about if she sees you as a possibility in the first place, as a, as a potential in the first place, okay? Because quite frankly, women do not test men that, and I'm not saying she's madly in love with you or, or anything, but at least, you're in the, you're, at least you're in the ballpark, okay? And the reason I say that is because women don't test men who are not even in the ballpark, okay? They just don't. So, you know, I mean, if you walk up to her and you're just this complete flannel, or this complete loser, and you clearly got no social poise or social expertise or the felicity of, or any kind of way with words or any ability to, you know, hold eye contact or to be charming or charismatic or you look like crap or you're out of shape or you're dressed really badly or whatever, right? I mean, she, you're already disqualified. You're already out of the game. She doesn't need to test you and she's not going to for the most part. Why would you test somebody who is so very, very clearly very, very far below you, okay? Why would, like, why would somebody do that, okay? She's not, so women generally will not test men. In fact, they will never test men that they are not, they don't at least consider to be on a level of sorts, okay? Let's put it like that, because just because you get a test, that's also not a guarantee that she, she's in love with you or anything's gonna happen, but it's, it's a good sign, okay? Now, when you go on the date or a date with her, there are likely to be even more tests because she's picking at you. She's trying to figure out, okay, is this guy what he purports to be? And you can't blame anybody for doing this. You can't blame any woman for doing this because men very frequently in order to try to get access to sex will present themselves in a manner that is not honest or at least they will they will seek to <clears throat> they will seek to shine up their good points and to ameliorate their worst points okay so they will try to appear to be richer and taller and better looking and more socially dominant and all of these different things than perhaps they are, they are in reality. And they will play down 
the the parts that are more negative like their credit card debt and the fact that they've got a huge mortgage on the properties they own and, and all the rest of it or they're in negative equity or whatever it might be or their company is actually failing so men are going to play up the good parts and they're going to play down the bad parts now women do this as well of course and very famously you know women wear makeup all right and what is that if not playing up the good bits and trying to disguise some of the the, the bad parts, you know, women will wear push-up bras, they will wear things that are very flattering to the body and so on and so forth. And women will do it in other more subtle ways as well. You know, a woman will maybe play down her past sexual experiences or maybe she'll play down the fact that she's married to someone else or she, you know, so both men and women are playing this game. It's not like something that just one gender does, but women will rightly test guys to try to figure out okay so is this guy the real deal or not as far as he's presented himself and they will do that because eggs are scarce sperm is cheap eggs are scarce okay and she doesn't want to get into a position where she could potentially end up procreating with some dude who's a loser so that's why she's testing you all right she's not testing you because she doesn't like you or she doesn't think you're good enough or, or any of that stuff, really. She's testing you for fitness, okay? It's a fitness test to see if you are actually what you purport to be. And so the very best way, in my experience, to pass one of these tests, one of these fitness tests, is to not be bothered by it, quite simply, okay? You want to be, you want to be like, it needs to be like water off a duck's back, okay? Water off a duck's back. You just don't really care that much, okay? Why is that so effective? Well, it's effective for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because if you, when you show emotion, you lose hand, okay? And when, and showing any kind of emotion, even if it's anger or it's frustration or whatever, right? You're losing hand, really. You know, you're losing leverage because she's got to you and she can see that she's got to you. And if she can get to you and she's just some girl, right? You know, maybe you make seven times her salary or something like that. Maybe you've got like 10 times her net worth. She's just some random girl and she's got to you. She's got to you on some emotional level, okay? Well, that's not good, is it? That's not good because remember, and this is all going on not necessarily consciously, but she wants a guy who, who's got it about him, all right? She wants a guy who can look after her, all right? Socially, in different situations, who can be that protector, probably that provider at some point, right? She wants a guy, in other words, who can make his way in the world and isn't gonna get flustered by stupid shit. And if you get flustered by something that she says, well, that's pretty stupid shit because how are you then gonna stand up to the intruder who comes into your bedroom in the middle of the night or the guy who tries to well I had a very bad story the other day a friend of mine was saying about a guy who uh, came in and tried to grab the breast of uh, a girl that he was out on a date with um, that guy went on to regret his decision to do that but you know the point is <clears throat> how are you going to be effective against people who come in and try to fuck you up and try to or, or her if you can't even stand up to her okay so the very best thing you can do is to be unemotional and to almost treat the test as if it doesn't exist okay treat the test as though just ignore it you might want to laugh you might raise an eyebrow you might smirk okay but just downplay it and then just change the subject, just move on to something else. Okay, now nine times out of 10, so something like the player one, she's going like, oh, do you do this to all the girls? You might go, yeah, huh, sometimes. Anyway, so tell me, you're at art school, right? Move the topic on, start talking about her art school degree. Okay, nine times out of 10, that's enough to pass the test. She's not gonna keep like hammering you about it. It's like, no, why are you, why are you a player though? Why are you a player? She's not gonna keep going on about it because you've already passed, because you've already passed by the fact that you didn't take it too seriously and you moved the conversation on. So nine times out of 10, that's gonna work, all right? Now, sometimes with other things, if it's like about money or something like that, you know, she goes, oh, so what do you, what do you do? 
and obviously she wants to know, but it might be because she's also looking at it from a commercial point of view. And then you're like, well, I do this. If she, that, sometimes in those situations, those kinds of questions, she might start grilling you. It's like, no, no, specifically, no, tell me, tell me more. What do you, what exactly do you, what exactly do you do? And if that happens, you've got to make a decision really whether this is the kind of woman that you want to interact with or not, because she sounds like a bit of a pain to be quite frank. But um, for the more mild, humorous, teasing kind of tests that you encounter, as I say, really, the very best thing to do is just to let them go. Don't respond, just kind of laugh. It's water off a duck's back, it's not a big deal, okay? And that would be my advice, but obviously, to get to that point, you need to be approaching in the first place and you need to be socializing and you need to be having these interactions with women. And if you're having difficulty with that or, or any part of this process really, and you would like to do a call with me uh, to have a chat about coaching opportunities, then there is a link below. So click the link or you can drop me an email, troy at realtroyfrancis.com. We can have a conversation about it. Please do like the video on the way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notifications bell. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye-bye.